me, let me say something else that's quite, quite interesting that kind of fascinates me. What we see in people who are having holotropic experiences, whether it's psychedelic, shamanic experiences, uh, some powerful forms of experiential psychotherapy, is something quite amazing, and that's that uh, we seem to have now access to all the different realms of the collective unconscious. People have experiences that are um, Hindu, that are Buddhist, that are uh, ancient Egyptian, that are Australian Aborigines, uh, you know, you, you name it. I mean, I have my, had myself, you know, a range of experiences in different, uh, in different religions. Now, this has to be a new phenomenon. I mean, if you look at, uh, at history and geography, uh, you see that uh, there are many cultures who had powerful um, mind-altering methods, including psychedelics. And uh, they, it had to be so that they, they uh, sort of repeatedly uh, visited a, a very specific archetypal realm related to that particular culture. Like you don't find in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, uh, the Weichol uh, deer spirit. I mean, there are certain variations. There are great mother goddesses that are different in different cultures and so on. But in the specifics, I mean, you don't find uh, uh, any kind of a um, influx of uh, archetypal images from other cultures. Otherwise, we would not have distinct mythologies. We couldn't say this is, these are the Tibetan deities, these are the Wichol deities, you know, these are the, this is the Christian mythology and so on. So this has to be a new phenomenon that the collective unconscious is opening to us. Um, and this seems to be parallel to what's, what's happening on the surface of the, of the globe. What happened in the last few decades, these boundaries kind of dissolved and, you know, there's, there's tremendous supply here of spiritual material of various kinds. We have now translated, you know, all the, all the spiritual texts. Uh, we have recordings of, uh, of spiritual music from, uh, from different uh, traditions, from different cultures. Uh, the Tibetans are all over the world now t teaching and, and um, Sufis and, you know, other, other teachers coming and doing uh, workshops and establishing uh, ashrams and so on. We have now, uh, we can reach, you know, the jet travel, we can, we can go to different countries. There is intermarriage, there is uh, uh, shortwave radio stations, you know, going uh, everywhere. Enormous amount of uh, television stations, the, the movies being exchanged and so on. And of course the last straw being the, the internet that's sort of interconnecting everything. So there is unification sort of happening on the, on the surface of the earth. And, uh, and the parallel sort of opening somehow of the, of the collective uh, unconscious in these non-ordinary states. So I hope and you know, believe that uh, we get to the point that the religion of the future will be such that we will honor just the spiritual quest in general, but we will not have any uh, sort of expectation that people would have experiences in a particular religious context that we honor, you know, Sufi experiences as much as we uh, honor Tibetan experiences. Uh, and that we'll see, see it as something that's exciting. Uh, 